Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking Lego Marvel superheroes and the 2017 sets which were just revealed. First up, we have set number 76076, Captain America Jet Pursuit. This set depicts a large Captain America-styled jet with pilot Captain America. He's teaming up with Ms. Marvel to defeat Super Adaptoid. The jet has a pretty nice look with the red, white, and blue color scheme, and I like some of the details on the stickers. But I do think some of our recent jets, like the one in Black Panther Pursuit, was a little bit nicer. But I am pretty excited about the Captain America shield discs that you can fire out. This set contains three minifigures. Here we can see pilot at Captain America. I really like the look of that pilot's jacket, and it kind of reminds me of him in the war in the first movie. Next, we have Ms. Marvel, and she looks straight out of the comics. She uses that great Wonder Woman hairpiece, and I really like the print on the torso. But the real standout for this minifigure are the long extended arms. And this reminds me a lot of what people have been doing in the AFOL community for a long time for characters like Mr. Fantastic. They nailed the look with those arms, but I do wish it would come with a normal torso, just for posing on a shelf. Finally, we have Super Adaptoid, and he's a really interesting interesting villain who can copy other characters' powers. This suit looks really great, and I love that silver faceplate. This is the newer style Iron Man helmet, and he is also holding a new accessory. From what I can tell on the box, this seems to be the latest gimmick like super jumpers or stud shooters called Power Blast. Next up, we have set number 76077, Iron Man Detroit Steel Strikes. The Detroit Steel build reminds me a lot of the Hulkbuster, and it features tons of poseable joints, as well as a large arm cannon, and there's a minifigure nestled inside the chest. I like its darker red, white, and blue color scheme, with the pops of prints throughout. Also included in the set is Agent Coulson's car, Lola. Any fan of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. will certainly recognize this car. Just like in the show, this car has the Back to the Future style flight by turning the wheels sideways. The car has a great overall look to it, but I do find that the body of the car is a little bit short looking. There are three figures included with this set. First off, we have an all new, all different Invincible Iron Man armor, but he does have the newer style helmet. He also features that new Power Blast piece. Also included is Agent Coulson, and I'm actually really excited to get him in a set. He's definitely become a beloved character of the Marvel Universe, so it's great to get him as a minifigure. And finally, we've got the minifigure for Detroit Steel. He's got some really detailed printing with red, white, and blue stars and stripes on the torso, as well as some great continuation of the printing on the legs. He also features that newer style helmet with a pretty fierce looking face printed. And the final set that they revealed was set number 76078, Hulk vs. Red Hulk, which is actually one that we've seen before. But we haven't seen this amazing box art, which features a really dynamic image. These sets feature two large vehicles, fit for these big fig hulks, and I think that they overall have a pretty nice Mad Max kind of feel. But the minifigures in this set are really exceptional. Getting this comic book version of Hulk with the green hair looks really nice, as well as Red Hulk. But my favorite figures are definitely She-Hulk and Red She-Hulk. They both have a really great look, complete with great printing and details throughout. This line of 2017 Marvel sets definitely gets me very excited, because there's great characters, including many that we've never gotten before. It's definitely a toss-up for me which one of these is my favorite, but I think I'm leaning a little bit towards the Detroit Steel set. But definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Which one of the figures was your favorite? And which set is your must-have? And if you like what you saw here, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up down below, and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. That's all the time you've got for today. Thanks, and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Click here to learn all about my LEGO Dimensions giveaway. And don't forget to subscribe.